Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous videos, we talked about several topics such as pattern, allowances, scores, etc. During our previous discussions, did you guys wonder how we make the molds? Well, you'll get the answer today. In this video, we're going to talk about molding machines. You might be surprised upon knowing that the oldest method of molding is still used today. In this manual method of molding, the sand is compacted by hammering or ramming it around the pattern. However, this method of molding is suitable only for simple castings and small productions. For more complex castings and larger productions, molding machines are employed. These machines eliminate the cost of labor, manipulate the mold as per the requirement, offer high quality casting by enhancing the application of forces and their distribution, and increase production rate. This is why these machines are mostly used in the foundry instead of the manual molding method. Let's talk about the various molding machines in detail. Our first molding machine is the vertical flaskless molding machine. In this molding machine, the two halves of the pattern form a vertical chamber wall. The sand is blown and compacted against this chamber wall. After this, the mold halves are packed horizontally and moved along a pouring conveyor. It must be noted that the parting line is oriented vertically. This molding machine is extremely simple as it removes the requirement to handle flasks. The production rate for this machine is very high, especially if the coring and pouring systems are automated. Next comes the sand slingers. These machines fill the molding flask with sand at a uniform rate under a high pressure screen. They are usually automated and large flasks are filled using them. The machine contains an impeller which throws the sand from its blades or cups at high speeds. The these speeds are so high that the sand is not only placed but also rammed inside the flask. Now let's move on to the impact molding machine. In this molding machine, controlled explosions are used to compress the sand. Besides explosions, the sand is also compressed by an immediate release of highly compressed gases into the mold. With the help of these machines, molds with uniform strength and wood permeability can be obtained. Now, let's talk about our final topic for today. Wondering what it is? Well, it's the vacuum molding machine. The method employed in this machine is also known as vacuum molding or the V process. In this machine, the pattern is enveloped with the help of a thick sheet of plastic. A molding flask is placed over this enveloped pattern and dry binderless sand is filled into the flask. After this, a second sheet of plastic is placed above the sand. A vacuum is provided to the flask which compresses the sand and then the pattern is removed. In this way, both halves of the mold are made, which are then assembled for the casting process. As the molten metal is poured, the mold is kept under the vacuum. However, the casting cavity stays out of the vacuum. Once the metal has solidified, the vacuum is switched off. This causes the molding sand to fall away and hence the final casting is obtained. Vacuum molding machines possess several advantages over the other molding machines. These advantages are low tooling costs, long pattern life, and no binders in the sand. High quality castings can be obtained using these machines. Vacuum molding machines are highly suitable for large castings. With this, we will conclude our session on molding machines. Today, we talked about the various molding machines and the different methods employed by these machines. In our upcoming videos, we will talk about more topics on casting processes. So stay tuned and stay safe. Until the next one, bye!